Maryland state officials are working to save native Hawaiian birds on the brink of extinction by targeting mosquitoes. Our Mark Carpenter reports. Now, just to provide some context on why so many are pushing for a solution, 11 native Hawaiian honeycreeper species are endangered or threatened, and it's estimated only five Akikiki birds are living in the wild on Kauai. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service and Department of Land and Natural Resources recently finalized a joint study that shows incompatible insect technique would not have negative impacts on the environment. It is a population control process where mosquitoes are infected with a bacteria that prevents them from reproducing, which then reduces the spread of avian malaria to native birds. The technique is drawing criticism, however, as opponents say not enough studies have been done and it could potentially be harmful to birds. I'm very concerned, one, that this could have a serious impact on the native birds that it's intended to save, uh, because if there's a possibility that the mosquitoes could be more capable of transmitting the avian malaria, that could be devastating. Really, our focus is helping these species to recover, and this is the tool that we have identified as um, having the best hope for the species in the immediate future. The environmental nonprofit Hawaii Unites is legally challenging use of IIT on both Kauai and Maui. DLNR and federal agencies would release the mosquitoes over 60,000 acres in the Koke'e and Alaka'i wilderness area. The goal is to begin by early next year. Mark Carpenter, Hawaii News Now.